Hey everybody, welcome to The Dose. My name is Brian. I want to talk to you a little bit about something that Mr. Brian Tracy calls white magic. The white magic of listening. And how that applies to you and I in terms of the pursuit of our goals, whether it's professional goals, or financial goals, business goals, even personal wellness goals and things like that. The white magic of listening assists you to be a better influencer. Now stay with me. Your ability to influence others, people's thoughts, beliefs, and actions is going to be the number one factor in the level of success that you're going to experience in business. Now, if you've got just a job, an occupation, maybe you've got a singular job, your job is to put widget A inside of widget B all day long, well then guess what? That, you know, Your ability to influence may or may not affect you there. However, if you want to raise for doing that same job, you're going to need to be able to influence your boss, right? If you want to take a vacation this summer, you may have to influence your spouse. If you want your children to do well in school, you're going to need to influence your children. So regardless of what your occupation is, even when it comes to relationships, your health and wellness, all of these things, influence will be one of the key factors in how successful that you become, your ability to influence others. So... How is listening, this white magic, help you in the influence process? And here's where it is. So many of us, especially those of us that have been or are now in the sales field, or even those of us that have been on the receiving end of a sales conversation have experienced this, right? Maybe you, you know, walk into a, 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 you know, a, a, an appliance store. And somebody comes up to you and says, hey, how's it going? And you say, oh, it's going pretty good. And they go, can I help you? And you go, no, I'm just looking around. And they, all of a sudden they're like, oh, well, we're on a sale on this. And we've got this. And they, got, and they start bombarding you with information. And your first thought is like, whoa, slow down, Tiger. We're actually just going to a movie in 20 minutes. And we needed to kill some time, right? In other words, have you ever been in a sales conversation with someone and you thought, they're just not listening to me, right? Or when you tell the, the salesperson at the, at the car dealership, you know, I need a, a four-wheel drive SUV, you know, blah, blah, blah. And they're telling me, well, I got this two-wheel drive over here. And I got, you know, and you're thinking, they're just not listening. Listening gives you the ability to influence because when you listen to someone, you can identify their pain. And when you identify their pain, it gives you an opportunity to present a possible solution. And maybe that's something that you're selling. Maybe that's an idea that you have. Maybe it's a way that you can help them improve their lives just because that's what you like to do with folks. But you're going to be much easier, or it's going to be much easier for you to influence someone if you understand what motivates them and what moves them. So a good example of that would be in a sales transaction, rather than just walking in and going, hi, my name is Brian. I sell widgets A. Let me tell you all about widget A and how wonderful it is. It does this. It does that. It does this. It comes in black. It comes in white. You can text. You can send. You can, you know, and I'm throwing all my presentation on you. What would be a better approach for me to come in and say, hi, my name is Brian. I work with the widget company. It's a pleasure to meet you. What do you do for a living? Oh, that's fantastic. How long have you been doing that? Oh, super. Are you married? Do you have any children? Oh, great. And I start a conversation with you and I'm listening for clues, for cues. And I might say, well, what prompted you to come to the widget store? And you say, well, you know, I've been looking for a new one of those widgets. And I go, really? What? Well, why is that? Well, the one I have is very old. Oh, right. So it's getting slow. It's not doing the thing, you know. And, and so now you're in a conversation. And so now if they're saying, yeah, my, my, my primary interest is speed, you know, my widget is too slow, it doesn't do all the things I needed to do, and I can say, oh, so what you're primarily interested in is speed. And they say, yeah, so if I could show you the fastest widget that we have at the very best value for you, then that'd be something you'd be interested in. You go, well, yeah, come here, I got something great for you. This guy, wicked fast. And now I'm helping you get what you wanted. I'm helping you satisfy your pain the thing that you needed solved. This, guys, this white magic of listening to your clients, listening to your spouse, listening to your children, listening to your coworkers or your friends or, or you know the folks that you hang around the most, listening to them gives you the information you need to much more effectively influence people, to help them to get what they need to serve them allows you to have the influence. You know, it's all summed up in a statement that uh, has been said a, a thousand different ways by a thousand different people, but it says if you help enough other people get what they want, you can have anything you want. See, I can try to sell you my widget, 
or I can find out what things are driving you crazy in your life, what things are causing you pain in your life, what things are causing you distress in your life, and just simply show you how my widget solves that problem. And I don't have to sell it to you. You'll want to buy it. You'll want to buy two of them just in case this one breaks. And the same thing is true if, if, um, if you're trying to influence your friends, right, to, 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 to go on a you know, camping trip. You might say to them, hey guys, you know, uh, if you're talking to a bunch of dudes, you're trying to get a dude's camping trip all together, right? You might say to the guys, hey, listen, you know, uh, how's things going at work? Oh, they're going, you know, they're going all right. You know, I've been kind of burned out. I'm oh, really no kidding. Yeah, I've been working some crazy long hours. Whoa, man, that's, that's terrible. But you love your work, right? Well, actually, I could really use a break. Really, you know, I was just thinking we should get out of Dodge. And I think a week-long camping trip would do you some good. Don't you think it'd help you clear your head? And they go, yeah, you know, maybe so. <laughs> Boom, influence. You see, once you have that information, then you can help the person to solve their own issue with whatever solution that you provide or with whatever it is you're trying to influence them with. Guys, this white magic of listening cannot be overstated. The other thing about listening is when you truly listen to someone and you take in what they're saying in regards to their concerns or their issues, then what you're doing is you're letting them know that you're there to serve them, not necessarily just push your agenda. And when you do that, you build a trust and you build a long lasting relationship. Now in relationships, obviously that's important, but even in a sales relationship or a business relationship, your clients now or your business partners are going to be much more likely to want to do business with you long term because they believe that you have their best interests in heart. And you've shown that because you've had the courtesy to ask and then you've presented them solutions tailored to their specific needs instead of just bombarding them with your sales presentation. Guys, if you can buy Mr. Brian Tracy's book, Maximum Achievement, there's some stuff in listening on there. Mr. Darren Hardy has some fantastic stuff on listening. Um, it, it, it's one of the greatest skills that you can develop and it doesn't come by us naturally as human beings. So don't think just a, a little seven minute daily dose is gonna make you a pro listener, but becoming conscious of drawing that information out so that you can have more positive, helpful influence with people will make you much more successful in everything you do, guys. That's the white magic of listening. Go make it a great day.